Hello everyone, this is Jeff Tough Layer Mouse. Many people make a comparison between gallium and mercury. Yes, they are both metals, both silver, both liquid at room temperature, more or less. But really, that's about where the comparisons end. Today we'll see how these two unique elements interact with each other. On top of the mercury, we're pouring very hot water. This will cause the gallium to melt into its liquid form. This is another idea a viewer suggested about a month or two ago, and this is exactly how he wanted me to do it. I dropped the gallium on top of the mercury, and it is heated by the hot water. This isn't sped up, this is real time, and you can see exactly what happens when these two elements interact with each other. Now mercury, of course, is quite a bit denser than gallium, over two times the density. So the gallium simply melts and sits on the surface. And another thing, we don't really see the two metals amalgamating or alloying and mixing together. Next we'll agitate it to see if we can get them to mix together. Even after a few repeated tries, the gallium just does not intermix with the mercury at all. We don't see any bubbling, no reaction or anything like that. In fact, it just looks like a metallic fried egg to me. I then added some ice and we'll see if we can re-solidify the gallium. Of course, the mercury has a freezing point of about 40 degrees below zero Fahrenheit or Celsius and the gallium will freeze or solidify at 85 degrees Fahrenheit or about 29 degrees Celsius. And of course one of the big differences between the two elements is mercury is a lot more hazardous. But it is also very important to say that when handling gallium you should use gloves and not use your bare hands. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoy videos pertaining to mercury and the unusual properties of this element Please check out my playlist. I have dozens and dozens of videos pertaining to this subject.